Hello, hello everyone. It's Khalid. Welcome to the Daily Pitch International Breaking News section. And today we will be discussing the retail sales and PPI data we have tomorrow. If you haven't liked and subscribed to our channel, let's do so and move directly to the economic calendar. As we can see here on November 25, tomorrow we have the PPI numbers, which is the inflation from the producer side and the retail sales. Why the retail sales is important? Because usually the consumer uh, contributes in around 70% in the economy of the US. In addition to that, as we all know that the feds are data dependent, which could give us what could be our next step, or what could be the feds next step for December meeting? Will they keep the interest rate stable or we will see a rate cut? Since the, since the feds are data dependent and previously we had the government shutdown, so a lot of economic data was delayed and some of the economic data, especially for October, will not be released at all. This what made the probability for December meeting fluctuate a lot between, keep, between no change and rate cut. And even moving last week, economic data, we had the non-farm payroll and unemployment rate. The non-farm payroll came in better than expected at 119k, keeping in mind that the previous was revised from 22 to minus 4. As for the unemployment rate, the unemployment rate ticked by 0.1% higher, up to 4.4%, but I believe this is nothing alarming because if we go to the summary of economic projection that was released by the uh, Feds in September meeting, we can see that the unemployment rate is already expected to be at 4.5% for 2025. So my personal opinion, anything above 4.5% for this year will be a little bit alarming for the Feds. So we will see these numbers that we have tomorrow and how it could impact the dollar index. Currently the dollar index, let's delete this. Currently the dollar index is at the slightly above the 100 level. And if we go back a little bit, we can see that it was the level that we were at in August. Here we had, on this day, we had the non-farm payroll numbers released. The numbers were lower than expected. And in addition to that, the previous numbers were revised much lower. This had a strong negative impact on the US dollar. We trended lower, we retested the 96 level, and currently we are back at the 100. So scenario number one we have here, what if tomorrow we have the retail sales numbers lower than expected, and in addition to that, we have the PPI lower than expected. PPI lower than expected means inflation is down. Retail sales worse than expected means that the Fed could cut interest rate in, in order to boost the economy. So if these two numbers are lower than expected, we could be breaking lower. And I believe our next area of interest could be the first area of interest could be here, the 99, 98.8. And in case we have additional seller's momentum, I believe we could be breaking lower. And my next target I will be looking at is the 98, 98.2 level. This is scenario number one. Scenario number two, if the PPI numbers are higher, if inflation is still high, and at the same time, the retail sales numbers are good. This means that inflation is higher, retail sales or the economy is still good. This gives room to the feds to keep interest rates uh, stable, higher for longer, and this will have a positive impact on the US dollar. It's very important for us to see a break above the 100.4, 100.5, and we could be trading higher with first area is here at the 100 one flat and in case we have additional buyers momentum we could be testing the candle highs at the 101.7 the last and the least favorable scenarios for us which is either the numbers are similar to forecast or we have a mixed data what does it mean like a higher ppi lower retail sales or the opposite this i believe will not give us a clear direction the dollar index will be trading in such direction like this even if we dig a little bit deeper to the 99.5 and we will stay in this consolidation range until we have the next fundamental catalyst or economic data which could which could give us a direction for the xy so guys that's it for our episode for today hopefully you enjoyed it and we will see you soon thank you so much